Hey guys, Jason here. The mini black panther in Washington State is on its hunting run. Going close to the chicken coop. What's he gonna do? Dun dun dun. Oh, he's sniffing the water bottle. Watch out. Mini black panthers are Pretty hardcore. Oh, sniffing the chain. The little link fence. <laughs> He's scared of the chickens. Anyway, so I moved my chickens today. They were out here for what? Uh, six days? So they pretty much almost stripped it to the ground. So we'll. Um, We'll see how long this takes to recover. Um, not that bad. See how messy they are? Look at that food. The le leftover food down there. Those little chickens wasting all that food. That's alright. Give the bunny something to eat. The wild black panther in Washington State. The mini black panther. <laughs> anyway, so I moved the chickens over here in the orchard. And, uh, yeah, they're doing a lot better with moving. Uh, they don't even seem to care. And they're like, oh, whatever. <laughs> so, kind of hit them back in the orchard a little bit. Give them us some shade. But also give them some new grass to munch on and uh, yeah, do their thing. Let's see if we can look in the window. They're all napping. Let's be quiet. Shh. Shh. Where are they? Let's open the window. It's going to scare them. Can you see? Good girls. Sorry, girls. Shh. Quiet. Yep, they're sleeping. <laughs> but yeah, so it looks like um, I'm still learning, so that's why I'm sharing these videos. So that I can um, give you advice on when to move your coop if it's only four foot by eight foot, plus the underneath is four foot by four foot underneath the coop itself. And that's really important because they run and hide underneath there a lot if something comes up to the cage or whatever, or something flies over and they're scared of it. Gives them somewhere they can go and hide that's a dark, uh, secluded place and they feel safe. So, chickens keeps them from getting all stressed out so they have a place to hide. So, it works out pretty good. Anyway, so, just giving you an update. Um, chicken coops are really easy to move and I'll take video of that sometime. So, I'll get my GoPro set up on camera stands and whatnot and I'll show you how I move it but it's super easy and so we'll see that spot there um, how long it takes to recover after about a week of them munching on that grass and doing whatever the chickens do <laughs> so is this going to work out? I don't know. Or should I just leave them in one spot? But if I do that, then yeah, they'll eat it down to the ground. They'll eat the any shoots coming up. They'll eat it dead down to the dirt. So I think moving them is the best way to go for right now. And then uh, when they get bigger, maybe I could free range them. And, uh, 
yeah, we'll see what happens. But right now, I'm just hoping that the uh, hawk or the eagle that's flying around that keeps zooming overhead, checking them out. Uh, I'm hoping you kind of lose interest and then I can uh, put the electric fence around them because electric fence doesn't doesn't protect them from the hawks or eagles. <laughs> It'll protect them from, you know, coyotes and uh, raccoons, but not hawks and eagles. So I don't want to lose any of my uh, six hens. Not yet. So anyway. Thanks for watching. Just uh, thought I'd give you an update. This spot here, that's mostly dead because I had my um, my chain drag, that there, my chain drag, I mostly killed the grass here. But you see the rest of it where I had the coop sitting for three days, it's fine. It's recovering fine, except for where my chain drag used to be sitting and I moved that, the chain drag, out of there before I put the coop there. So this was number one spot. Um, and that is three days. That's number two spot. And that's six days. And so we'll see how that recovers. And number three spot, that's there. I'm going to um, probably let it sit for... Um, well, I guess it depends on how fast that spot recovers. So, it, so I'm trying to figure out how long I can leave them in one spot before they totally destroy it. So, we'll figure it out. Alright. Thanks for watching. Yeah, just six hens. That's all. But, yeah. The coop is way too big for them. Or the hen house is. Is... Um, but, uh, the run's a little tight, or a little bit small, a little bit tight, so I might make the run bigger. If I have to leave them in the run, but I'm hoping to be able to let them kind of free range a little bit for most of the time. So, we'll wait and see, but thanks for watching guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.